just again excited to get going and I know there's been much talk and discussion and dialogue about the new format uh, for college football and training camp with uh, you know no two a days and, and one day off per week that really doesn't affect us too much uh, we want to take full advantage of the waiver to start early uh, however it is a build-up process uh, going from practice one throughout the course of training camp and you know coupled with our one day mandatory one day off a week we'll still also incorporate what we've done uh, for a number of years now where there'll be a day during the week also that uh, we won't practice and it'll be more of a mental day uh, a day in the weight room so we can continue to make the, the, the gains in the weight room that we need to make so we're making sure that we take full advantage of our practice opportunities but for the most time we'll practice five out of seven days and uh, you know we're going to go for three days and then take a mental break and do what we need to do. So we have to make sure we get uh, everything that we need to get accomplished every time we step on the grass and on the practice field. The other thing when I talk about the buildup is uh, we have to be able to start fast, have our health, and be game ready, uh, game one. And having three games in 13 days, I don't know if that's ever been done. If it has, it hasn't been done quite often. So we've tried to research everything from the Canadian Football League, how do they handle uh, time off during the course of the week, uh, getting your players back mentally, physically, um, you know, from what will be a very taxing 13 days. So we've really tried to put a lot of emphasis on that. In terms of the off season, you know, you all have spoken about it. Um, really looking forward to taking the off season to the practice field. Uh, and the gains that we've made in the weight room. And it should be the most competitive camp that we've had. As you all know, the greatest motivator is that of playing time. So we're excited about that. Uh, and it's not just the quarterback battle that will be extremely competitive. I think there's <coughs> nine position groups across the board that should be extremely competitive. Just to give you a recap on our strength and our summary, <coughs> I'll, I'll go into answering questions you may have. Significant progress. Uh, during the summer months from a strength standpoint, a power standpoint, a muscular size standpoint, but also from a confidence standpoint as well. And we gave our players two days off the last two days and still in the weight room. And I think that comes from confidence uh, that they have. They could feel their bodies changing, your body's your asset. And I think they really feel good about where they're at. Uh, we have uh, 21 players on our team that can power clean 300 plus pounds, which we've never had that before. We have 10 players over our team that have squatted 500 pounds or more. And the exciting thing is, is we have team records and team records in the weight room. We have 64 different players whose names will be on that board. And of those 64 different players, 15 of those are true freshmen. Uh, so that's exciting as well. I think our true freshmen have come in. I think it's elevated the level of competition uh, but really been excited to see the leadership that is formed from our older players of really uh, developing our freshmen into our culture, into our style, and into our expectations. So I'll answer any questions you all may have.